Ken, thank you. Tonight, 10 Afghan refugees will soon be calling Mobile home. Governor Kay Ivey's office confirmed the State Department's decision last night. Catholic Social Services told me today it anticipates the refugees will arrive next month or November. Today we spoke with a local organization that will likely be helping them. The images of America leaving Afghanistan are heartbreaking. People there desperate to get out, fearing Taliban rule. For 10 refugees, though lucky to escape, they will soon find themselves here in the port city. These people have um, in many cases risked their lives for us and have been loyal to us in the face of really great danger over there. And so we have the opportunity now to be loyal to them and um, help them help become neighbors to them. Jerry Strode's group Dwell works with refugees after they've gone through the Catholic Social Services resettlement program, which provides initial housing arrangements and basic necessities like food and clothes. Dwell then steps in and helps refugees do things like get a driver's license or learn English. She says the refugees are vetted thoroughly and she suspects the Afghan refugees who are coming likely qualified for a special immigrant visa, which means they help the United States during the war. This means these people have to show proof of having either translated for our military, worked for the U.S. Embassy or have some connection to a U.S. NGO working in Afghanistan. America has been a blessing for me. Moses Mubao came to Mobile as a refugee from Uganda 10 years ago. The 27-year-old says a soccer scholarship gave him an opportunity to attend the University of Mobile, and now he started his own freight company. He says he's grateful for the resources Dwell offered, and now he gives his time to refugees arriving. He encourages others to welcome them with open arms. There are Americans who are feeling fearful of these people, so therefore, don't be scared of these people. They are coming here to change their lives. They are running from something that is really bad in their countries. Today, Representative Jerry Carl told us while he's always wary of what the administration says, he was assured the refugees were well vetted. I want to stay positive about it because, you know, my son it, it, it made it back from Afghanistan because of some of these people. Uh, so I want to stay positive about who they are. Well, today in a statement, Mobile's Mayor Sandy Stimson said as a community that has faced adversity from oil spills and hurricanes, our citizens know what it's like to lose everything and the value of helping each other build it all back. I know Mobilians will step forward to offer a warm welcome and a helping hand to those individuals who aided our American soldiers.